What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Wizarding World? Hey, wait a sec. I thought you were done with these guys. I am done. Hey, nerdlings. It's Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? That's right. That's right. This isn't clickbait stuff. So you suspended your service. January 1st of this year. And then, like, two weeks later, all of a sudden, it was like, boom, 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 boom. And you got these four boxes now. Yes, because I was literally an entire year behind on getting boxes. And I don't know if they managed to catch up and it was a coincidence. Or because I went ahead and canceled my subscription, they were like, oh, well, here you go. Mm, thank you. Oh, well, that's interesting. We'll see. Okay, so... The, the thing is, what these were are still whatever. It's a, uh, so it's a Harry Potter Wizarding World themed loot crate style of box. Correct. Every other every month. Every other month. When they would s ship them. Yes. Uh, and generally, not only would it have a house theme, so like for you, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Uh, but they would also do kind of like a, an overall theme. Yes. You know, like back to school or something kind of fun yes. like that. Yes. These being your last four boxes, mm -hmm. we're going to take a look inside. Do you think there's a chance they could win you back. Well, just have to see. Honestly, the only thing that would really win me back is talking to some people out there and finding out that they're back on schedule. Or mm. schedule, as I've heard some British people uh, say. Oh, I, I wouldn't hold my breath on that. <laughs> well, how about we do things a little different? You just take one box, pull everything out of there, and then tell us about what you found in there. All right. Well, that's nice. The cap to the pin is missing. Okay, so the first box is open. Any idea what the theme is for Pretty this? Pretty sure it's going to be Dark Arts <laughs> or Death Eaters. They used to put cards in yes. there, but they long yeah. since stopped doing that. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, uh, first of all, hey, check it out. Some stationery. To be fair, I actually kind of like this stationery because it is Tom Marvolo Riddle's Diary. And it's got the hole in it. And they give you a pin, which happens to be the Basilisk Fang. Now, I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a cap to it, but it does not. So I actually kind of like this stationary set. It would have been cooler, I think, if they'd done a hole through the whole thing. I mean, Is there anything like special on the pages? Not really. They're kind of textured to look like there's uh, like a crinkle to it. Although there's this oh, one page it really where is. it's actually crinkled. So they, they did go all out yeah. there. The pin is a Death Eaters mask. Okay, those masks were always kind of cool in the movie. Yeah. Like uh, very creepy too. So we got a, a candle. I was trying to see if it has a smell label on it, but it's very manly smelling. It smells like a men's cologne. Yeah, it kind of does. It smells like uh, the cologne that used to be in magazines that uh, instead of buying the cologne, I'd just rub the magazine <laughs> on me. It's a lot cheaper that way. We have a Death Eaters hood, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. This is why the cards are handy. <laughs> but it's like a hood scarf and it has the Deathly Hollows on it. Would you like to uh mm, i feel like i look like a fool in this one you look a little monkish lovely dear a little monk like this is uh this was a weird box this was a very weird okay, box a very so, minimal box uh and sometimes they put stuff inside the box looks like it's just hogwarts going to hogwarts i feel like this is a recycled box it kind of seems I like i think that. we've had this box before anything that you really like out of this uh i like the pin in the the book that's about it this is a, a very minimalist box, and a lot of times when there's less stuff in there, there's usually a bigger ticketed or priced item like, in there. A quality thing. And I'm not seeing that with this. No, anything that you just really toss that. The, the this, hood whatever, thing, whatever hood the, scarf, yeah. whatever. Okay. Whatever that is. And then final question, has this box won you back? Absolutely not. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's do. This next box has a Weasley and Weasley kind of like advertisement-y sticker thingy on it. So maybe this one's going to be more of a fun, jokey box. Okay, the first thing I notice as you open this, uh, kind of like the last one, almost looks like another minimalist Very box. Very minimalist like, box. These are decent sized boxes that are not being filled. <laughs> no, again, no card. We have a plushy chocolate frog, which I really like. And I think you it like smells plushies. like chocolate. It does smell like chocolate. Yeah, so that's fun. <laughs> Don't do oh. that. 
Oh, it doesn't taste like chocolate, you no, guys. No, because look, they gave me a mold to make chocolate frogs out of. Ooh. So that's cool because I love buying ice molds and making chocolates with my ice molds. So this is great. Also, uh, just a quick note, because you've done that with plenty of molds in the past, these are nice and small. Yes. So it's not like a huge hunk of chocolate yeah. that almost kills your jaw. Not or like the Tardis teeth. chocolates I make. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the pin is kind of fun. It's the three broomsticks and Hogmeade's Hogmead butter beer. So that's a nice pin. I okay, like that yeah, one. Yeah, that is a good looking that's pin. That's a good pin. I'm glad we're getting away from the stupid buildings. Looks like we got some crew socks that's got Hogmeads and Honeydukes and all kinds of candies and fun stuff all over it. I probably won't wear these because I don't like tall socks on me. They're just not comfortable, but they're super cute though. Future Tom would like to point out that these ideas are solely those of Lady Lacey as they do not reflect the ideas of Do You Nerd, especially Tom's when it comes to long socks and or stockings. And then we have a fun Wizard and Weasley shirt. You know, I think that you've gotten a Weasley's shirt from them before, and it was also purple, mm -hmm. which you yes, like. Yes, I do. You don't have a whole lot of exactly. purple shirts. Yes. And this just has like some fun sayings thrown on there, which is great. The explosive fairy dust, powdered porcupine. Basically, so all the stuff they sell in their shop. Yeah, and it's almost uh, like a glittery texture on some of these, so that's pretty. Yeah, neat. I like this shirt. And inside the box, the it is a little bit different. It's more um, like advertisements and stuff. Okay, fair enough. Yep. All right, another minimalist box. Uh, what was your favorite item out of this? Could be a tough call yeah. with this round. I actually like everything I got in this box. Oh, so this so is a good one. This is an almost maybe back box. Oh, so this one's kind of skirting you. A little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Of course, one of your favorite things has always been the Weasleys, meaning they were pretty much guaranteed to win you over with this box. Pretty much, yeah. And it's all, in my opinion, useful items because everyone loves a plushie. I can use the ice molds and you got a shirt. Plus that sweet button. Yeah, Looks that's great. a nice button. Yes, can put it on my bag. Wicked. So the next box, again, no card. <laughs> Not very many items in the box. But these actually kind of filled the box. They, they yeah, seem like they're a little bigger, a little bigger, bigger yeah. items. So the first thing we have is a nice ball cap that says Hufflepuff on it. It's got the H and then the uh, badger on the side there. I always like the ones that are adjustable and the strap fits inside the hat. So it's not like flecking around out there. Yeah, this actually isn't a bad hat. It's pretty good. It's a pretty decent quality. It's kind of like a, almost like a felt, like a, like a felt material. So yeah, that's nice. We have a really cool little thermal bag. Useful. I yes. think that uh, you said as you pulled that out, maybe a lunch bag. Yeah, like a little lunch bag or carry a couple drinks in it. It's got all of the house crests on it. And then you've got the big Hogwarts crest on the front and says Hogwarts. And it's that kind of striping material that makes me think like school gym bag. Yes. So it kind of yes. looks like a, like a mini school gym bag. Let's see what the button is. Oh, how cute. It's a little badger button. And it kind of looks like the puffy sticker. It does design. look like the puffy sticker design. So that's fun. It just says Hogwarts Hufflepuff house pin. So that's awesome. Love that. Then we got a shirt. So it looks basically just like one of those school shirts, just yeah. Hogwarts and then school witchcraft and wizardry. So this is uh, like what the school would sell. Yeah. You and know, like the to... bookshop to get you to, you're like, you came and you did a school tour and you're like, oh, I'm going to buy this because I'm going to the school. Oh, know? okay. See, I was thinking like uh, for like band or something, they need money for bands so oh. trying to sell shirts instead of candy or whatever. I can see that too. And they asked how a geek like me could be the man. I said, I learned all this by selling candy and band. Push your band candy. I have the band. That's right, selling band candy turned me into a drug dealer. Nice, I like this bag of okay, this box. Okay, so do you have a favorite out of this then? Probably the bag. I'm oh, a bag lady. Well, you are a bag lady. And mm -hmm. having that double use of yes. not just as a bag, but using it as a lunch bag or yes. a drink bag yeah. or something. And uh, you said you liked everything, so nothing that you don't like. I'm not really a big hat person, but I do enjoy it. Like if I'm working outside, I'll wear a hat. But for the most part, I don't usually typically wear hats. Even in the wintertime, I don't wear hats. Okay. The inside of the box looks like it's just got a just collection the, of crests. Just the bare minimum of the crests. The big question being, has this box won you back into the hearts of the Wizarding World bi-monthly? I don't think so. Not this one? No. Okay. Oh, oh. Still, that Weasley one is the winner so far. <laughs> the last box 
That's a big boy. It is a big box. I also notice it is a plain box. Oh, you are right. It doesn't have the logo on the front at all. Nope. The sticker on it is um, like herbs and stuff. So, or okay. herbs, however, you know, if you're British or American. <laughs> not only is the outside of the box plain so too is the inside yes it is and though that was a big box i don't think they needed to go that big for what was inside i do not think that, so either there of, were uh, two bigger boxes inside of it but nothing that wouldn't have fit in the other side a bit misleading yes well first of all your button my love oh goody we're back to the you know weird buttons of like the buildings and stuff and it's the whomping willow put that in your your cityscape line of the buildings and you got a little <laughs> bit of vegetation yeah and then we got a mandrake but he's under glass so we don't have to listen to him scream so wait would that work if he's I don't under know. glass just hear, <laughs> <laughs> now this is kind of neat this is pretty cute and it makes me wonder why weren't they doing more stuff like this i agree i imagine the production costs maybe would be a little difficult for things like this but this is a little more fun but this i like this it is really cute there is actually a lot of detail on this little guy he is really adorable so yeah i like him he's cute the other thing that was in a box was this really cute herbology coffee mug is in the shape of a pot that's pretty clever. So, yeah, that's pretty cute. I mean, as far as like interesting, quirky items, yeah. that's great. And you know, if you don't want people thinking that you're like huge into herbology, then you know, just like yeah. turn it around. It does have a little like mandrake on the front. You know what else is great about it? It's left handed. <laughs> and may you might all be wondering, what do you mean by it's left handed? The picture shows what I'm drinking with my left hand. Most of the time, I have the picture facing me because of the right-handed, so I like that. And the last thing in here is a shirt of Harry Potter and Hedwig, and I'm not a fan of this shirt at all. It's cute. First of all, you you don't like Harry Potter. I don't like Harry. He's he's a prat. He's a prat. He's a big prat. <laughs> let's let's face it, guys. <laughs> Harry only got as far as he did because of every single other person helping him. There's nothing to he quote could have done Harry Potter himself. himself. I nearly always had help. Ah, yes, yes. The truth is, most of that was just luck. I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I nearly always had help. He's just being modest. No, Hermione, I'm not. What about the, the look, though, the design of Harry? That's what I don't like about it. The overly cutesy look mm -hmm. to him? Yeah. But it's not like, I don't know, there's just something about this cutesy look. It's not like chibi. I like chibi cutesy. This is just, I don't know. This is kind of like that weird in between. Uh-huh, yeah. Something kind of curious, too, is you know how sometimes you'll have shirts that have almost that worn design to it? This doesn't so much have that as it looks like it's just worn, worn out. You yeah. know, like it's not on purpose. It's like, I don't know, it, it's almost as if it didn't print out very well to begin with. Yeah. And it's a shame too, because there's little creatures all over it. So there are a lot of things to like about it. I mean, you've got Fox, you've got some house elves. There's fun little things all over it, but they're really hard to see because of the art design and the printing design on here. You got uh, an interesting pen. I did. A shirt you're not a fan of, a great little statue, and a great lefty coffee mug. Did this box win you over? I don't think so. I think I'm still too salty about how long it took to get an entire year of boxes. Fair enough. So Very like fair. I said, it would definitely, and the fact that they keep raising the prices. Ooh. So, and I get it, everything's going up in price. But... If you guys are gonna raise your prices and get my get money on the time, box out on time, yeah, exactly. you have no problem taking the money on time, but you can't ship on exactly. time. Exactly, that's where the problem is. So four boxes in, and not a single one of them absolutely won you over. No, Is Weasley still the closest one. Weasley still would probably be the closest one, but it's one of those things. Like I said, I would have to talk to people and know consistently they have been getting boxes out on time. So until and if that happens. I feel like this ooh. might be an end of an era. I might every once in a while pick a box here and there because you can 
you know, unsuspend your subscription and, you know, get a box here and there. Go for so like a single. Just maybe just for funsies because I'm, you know, feeling nostalgic, might get a box here and there. I definitely plan to look for other boxes. Yes. Other mystery Try boxes. So, nerdlings, if you know of any other fun mystery boxes out there, let me know in the comments below and I might check them out. What's well, something that you super love that would be a great mystery box for you? Like just plushies in general? Plushies maybe? are great. I love sci-fi. I love fantasy. I love mystery, horror. So, you know, the horror, box might horror be boxes nice. would be a lot of fun. So. All right. Well, as we close this out, I would like to say if for any reason anyone from the Wizarding World box, loot crate or anything is watching this, I want to make it very, very clear that we always try to stay positive. Mm-hmm. The fact that this woman here had to suspend her service for your box, you don't understand how much of a Wizarding World fan she is. So that's a huge, huge thing for her. Not to mention the stubbornness from that red hair for her to suspend this service. <laughs> so get back in the right, Wizarding World loot crate folks. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, she's, she's going to be uh, hanging out with other boxes. I will. You missed out. <laughs> All right, so uh, please leave some comments down below on these final four boxes from the Wizarding World. Let us know if you have any recommendations for Lady Lacey. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I believe that you have a few things you would like to tell them too. I would like for you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. Go over to the Retro Refresh website because it's pretty awesome. Hit us up over on Tee Public because we got some pretty cool merchandise over there. And I'm pretty sure that they ship on time when they get your oh, money. <laughs> snap. Snap. And if we like it. We nerd it for lefty mugs. <laughs> there you go. There. You're going to have your, your proper tea. Finally, now. I can drink and you can see what I'm drinking. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. All right, grab these boxes. Let's take them to the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, it's magic. <laughs> you know it. Don't test me, boy. Okay. That is weird, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of magic is this? <laughs> this is weird. Tom Marvolo's riddle. Tom Marvolo. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> so. Take a shot. The next box has a wizard's we Weasley and Weasley. I was going to say Wizards and Weasleys. Okay, ready? <laughs> Wizards and Weasleys. Wizards and Weasleys. <laughs> Is this for you? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? There is an OnlyFans of me out there, isn't there? <laughs>